Battle of Pulsar is a new MMORPG open world free to play MMO that launched in Korea uh, a week ago I think and this game is a cyberpunk futuristic game where you will be exploring a world out of this universe. So they have an interesting touch to this MMORPG so I want to jump right into it let you guys know if this game is worth checking out or not when it comes globally so let's check it out so we are here in the character selection screen we have four classes so we have a uh, the boy the big hammer man okay so we have a big hammer boy right now you know uh, two-hander big hitter then what is this that already gender lock i don't like that it seems like the classes are race locked and gender locked. This is a dual blade assassin. Kind of give me a Yosu Mitsu vibe. You guys have played Tekken. But dual blades, another melee weapon. And then we have the sword, another melee weapon. So it's going to be three melee weapons. I read something about this game that there might be like more professions underneath the classes. So I'm really hoping for that because right now we have three melee classes and one range class. Uh, so uh, main focus is going to be on... Uh, the melee it seems we're gonna go with this class of course uh kind of fortunate that there's gender lock in this game i expected a little bit more from this because what i read about and a lot of mess people messaged me to check out this game too so i was kind of hoping for a little bit more uh than what we've seen so far but you know we might get surprised so let's keep looking and see if there's something more that i have missed out on so I kind of like that this whole Star Wars aspect of the MMORPG. I think uh, it's good that MMOs are thinking out of the box and making uh, these kind of games because uh, we're definitely missing them on the, on the market. Because, you know, the typical MMORPG is so many of them. So if you want to be unique, if you want to be uh, different, you kind of have to do this. Now, the, now, here we are. Let's see. Again, this game is mobile, and currently I'm playing it on a uh, PC with an emulator, but it's a full-fledged mobile game. Okay, let's see. We have full 3D. So this is, I'm probably on like a different planet right now. Now this game does have autoplay from what I can see. The world, however, I don't know exactly how I feel about the world. I kind of like the whole futuristic aspect, like you can travel like planets and stuff. Uh, but the graphics are not that great, unfortunately. This is VIP timer. I just started. I, I disliked this so much. This VIP timer to purchase these weapons. Now, there are some good news. Because a lot of MMOs recently that launched in Korea and China, when it comes to Western markets, they try to tone down the pay to win. I've seen like a thing happening very recently that they started doing that so there might be more hopes for this game so right now i'm not going to jump too much into pay to win obviously there's pay to win in this game uh and a cash shop and a way to purchase high combat power but we're not going to take too much look into that because that's kind of usual with most mmos the graphics itself let's see here you can move while attacking especially the normal attack which is good yeah so you can move while attacking that's huge that's good, I like that. So you can actually have enjoyable combat. I did not expect that at all from what I've seen so far. You have like a dodge button too. You have an aim button, you have a switch target button. Can you just spam dodge? Okay. They gave me a VIP pass. So what is this? I'm defeating the boss. Interesting. Okay, got a bunch of scorpions over here. Let's keep following. Again, this game is in Korean right now, but I kind of know. I've been playing so many Korean uh, reviews. I've been making so many reviews in Korean. I'm be at this point, I might as well, uh, you know, no Korean. They have this little Wally. -E. Tell me this this Wally -E is not copyrighted. Tell me. Okay, what's happening with the zoom though? Can I get out of the zoom? Tell me that little this guy is not Wally. -E. Yo, if they find out, they're gonna sue this game. A little bit, a little Wally running inside us. I mean, I have to say, gotta give uh, credit where credit is due. 
the combat isn't fun you know it's not very engaging but it's smooth it's smooth you can move while attacking um but it's not anything flashy it's like it definitely gives me a lot of generic korean mmr vibes but i kind of see the way they were going with it, you know with the whole futuristic star wars vibe traveling planets going out in space you know bringing some innovation to it but i think the graphics and the engine is way outdated the this game could look at this this is star wars this is literally star wars Tell me this is not Star Wars. So it's highly Star Wars inspired, basically, MMO. Yeah, like uh, little, uh, I was going to call them uh, robots, little broods right here, you know? Yeah, Wally. So they like took inspiration from Wally, from Star Wars. Uh, so a little bit of everything, you know? I just think like cause the concept is good again, but I think they're just too inexperienced. The graphics. I have to say, guys, the graphics look awful, okay? Like, look at this. It could have been something so good looking, but, like, the graphics and the engine is just too outdated, right? But this game has mounts. Star Wars mount. Maybe we can get the Millennium Falcon, you know? Maybe that's the end game. Let's see here. Can we look at the mounts? Here, here we are. Oh, no, we can't look at a... Oh, here we go. Okay okay we have some cool mount nice all futuristic looking mounts interesting no the mounts look cool i have to give it credit where it's due the mount looks cool you know they're definitely going for the feel futuristic feel i kind of want to look at some of my skills if there's any, any outfits you know because the outfit and the character customization has been absolutely awful having no character customization character lock i couldn't even change my hair color like what is that how how is that like the whole point of an mmorpg it's like you're role playing right it's a multiplayer massive multiplayer role playing game but how am i supposed to role play if i look like everybody else am i gonna role play like everybody else okay so we got some cool armor we can get some wings get guns so this is this is like the end game armor. If you see anyone running around like these, you guys already know they're they have spent a bunch of money in the game. They show me all that cool armor, but I can't even wear it. Oh, that's messed up, man. That's really messed up. Okay, so I can get some VIP titles. Who, who would even want the ugly VIP titles? Yeah, I'm I'm on a I'm on a You guys know me, guys. I am brutally honest. As long as it's not a hashtag ad, I am brutally honest. Then I'm just a little bit honest. But right, I'm really honest when it comes to my reviews and impressions. And I have to say, this game, I expected way more. Uh, the hype and people messaging me and stuff. I was like, yo, this game might be it. You know, it's him. But this game is not him at all. This game is uh, something else for sure. Okay, we unlock something else. What is this? A little power up. So this is equipment i don't know what this means except some kind of tower play monster bosses level 90 how low level up? i'm level 47 already oh my so how many levels are there 200 oh my god this go this is endless hello so like you can go all the way to level 300 in this game like i don't understand okay what is with what is the fascination with these korean mmos and having high numbers like leveling up to 300 it just sounds awful oh we got wings though it just sounds awful like hey who wants to level up to 300 i don't understand that at all that fascination okay we got some uh and look at all the wings i don't want to go out and look at the wings man hey stop show me yeah, this one, right? Okay, we got some mech wings. Um, let we have three type of wings. Cool, cool. All right, guys, I think I'm gonna call it for now. Uh, Battle of Polestar. It's a Korean MMORPG, not yet released globally. Will I be playing it when it comes globally? No. Should you guys play it when it comes globally? 
and probably not. Uh, it's a fishery stick type of MMO. I like the concept. I like the inspiration with the Star Wars. Uh, but it's just lacking so much. The engine feels old. Uh, the graphics feel old. It just feels like a lot of copy pasted code. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe. Check out this video right here. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.